If you're new to this channel, don't miss out on the chance to become a part of our incredible community by hitting that subscribe button. We're now offering an exclusive membership. When you join, you'll unlock a world of possibilities, including access to our private community chat and some seriously awesome perks. Now, if you're feeling extra generous and want to help us continue this amazing journey, you can drop us a heartfelt thanks. We want you to know that every bit of support you offer means the world to us. We genuinely wouldn't be where we are today without your incredible support. So from the deepest corners of our hearts, a massive, massive thank you with all our love and gratitude. Back to the show. Where are we going? Back with Bo Show! Bo Show! <laughs> We're here. We're here at the boat show. We made it. How are you feeling? I'm feeling excited. I've never been to the boat show. You have. So I've been dying to go. And then this is so surreal because we actually have a boat now. And before you would go and it was just a dream. And now it's reality. <laughs> so we're going to do some networking, um, networking, socializing, shopping. People. Yes. Shop. Get shopped for catamarans. Partying. <laughs> Get our free beer at the Young Cruisers booth. Hell yeah. Woo. Drinking our celery juices. Yep. We have officially made it home from Key West and we're back where it all started. Annapolis is widely considered to be the sailing capital of the United States and the Annapolis Sailboat Show is one of the largest boat shows in the world. It's an opportunity for boaters to come together and explore the latest boating gear, network, and view all of the latest models to hit the market. It's like Disneyland for sailors. I think this is the 50, yeah. The seating area is awesome. Isn't this cool? I love how you can just like chill out on deck and how it's like set in like this. Yeah, me too. All three will actually be considered under first. Yeah, Closets are better, bulkheads aren't as tight. This is so spacious. Yeah, wow. <laughs> inception. <laughs> Filming Inception. <laughs> wow. That's amazing. A little, little fancier. They're used. Holy moly! Seriously. <laughs> I know there is enough room for. A yoga mat. This is beef. Babe, it's, babe, it says please do not disturb the bed. Babe, you're, disturbing. Disturb you're disturbing. You're disturbing. You're disturbing. You sit here and play five sounds out the window and then just duck. Uh, <laughs> then look. Here's the person that farted. <laughs> You have your own frigid uh, air conditioning. Oh, nice. For I've seen that in that room too. So I think each room might have its own settings. That's awesome. Insanity. Much needed. Safety. Let's get a catamaran. Yes, let's get a catamaran right now. Y'all need to give us money. <laughs> <laughs> Subscribe. One person at a time. No way. Wow. What? This is huge. Look at this. Oh, this bathroom. This must be the master. This must fit for a queen. Holy <laughs> cow. I love all the contents. <laughs> Alright, we found our new boat. <laughs> we've, well, we've only looked at leopards so far, but so far we're in love. Yeah, leopards are amazing. They're super comfortable. But they're not our dream boat. No, they're not. That is. The Fountain Peugeot. Fountain Peugeot. Right behind you. <laughs> How do they get these boats so close together? I don't know. It's impressive. I can't even get my boat in my slip. <laughs> <laughs> 
This Wait, is, is this a Fontaine Peugeot? This is a Fontaine Peugeot. Fontaine Peugeot? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't realize at first I was just climbing a board. Like, <laughs> I was like, what is this? This is a 47. 47? Okay. Yep. Nice. I like, the, I like the upper part. Yeah, do you want to check it out? How do you even get up there? It's a boat. Go like this. Oh, wait. Do they not want you to step on this? I don't know. You just don't want you to step on the Starlink. We're on a Fontaine Peugeot. It's so comfortable, it's almost just like driving a car. Whereas the Leopards, you're sitting like much higher and the seats aren't comfortable and you're like reaching down to try and grab the wheel when you're actually sitting. Here, with these, what do you call it? Uh, not nav station, but the cockpit. It actually sits more comfortably in line. Everything is right here. And if you do have to change anything, just everything changes right there. Oh, those are so smooth. Yeah, this is amazing. For the value you get for what you pay for one of these is incredible. I mean, this helm is perfect. Everything is just right here. If you have to ever have to change a line, you literally always have a hand anywhere you go and it's just right here you change your lines and then back on watch i mean you could sleep right here this is a 45 so this is our dream boat this is a fontaine pajot alba 45 i believe it's actually owned by somebody because it has a name on it but um yeah this is the perfect size all right by now you can probably notice a bit of a trend we are absolutely obsessed with catamarans. From the moment we birthed this dream in our imaginations, we have always been drawn to these beautiful yachts. The first picture I ever took of any boat was actually a 45 foot Fountain Pajot, just like the one we're on right now. And it's still the background for my phone and my computer. They are like luxury apartments on the water. They don't heal as much as a monohull. They're far more spacious, and when you're on a catamaran, you don't feel like you're in a dark hole. separate from the rest of the bathroom. Yeah, I've always loved that in regular bathrooms. I've never seen it on a boat. I know. It's nice to have this. Yeah, I like the divider. And then there's room for here. Oh, it's showing off the AC. Love the AC. Oh my God, that's amazing. Oh, what a blessing to have AC. That would be so beautiful especially because you control it from each room so it's not like you're cooling the whole boat yeah you're doing it while you sleep or you're doing it in the room that you're hanging out <laughs>
This is nice. This is beautiful. I like how like white everything is. Ow, I just tripped. There's a step there. <laughs> There's a sink in the bathroom. Yeah, the bathroom. same with the other side too. Oh, that's kind of cool. see our uh, young cruisers we're gonna go to the young cruiser tent and then we're gonna go see who's at the YouTube tent and then probably get some food because we have a long night ahead of us <laughs> we are going to the young cruisers awards um, it's a red carpet event for all of the social media influencers that are in the boating sailing cruising space and we're gonna go to the event, meet some people, uh, watch them give out awards, and then after that we are going to an after party. A bunch of sailors going to let loose. No phones, no no cameras allowed. <laughs> it's going to get crazy. Uh, so many people are here. We are at the Young Cruisers Association tent. This is the place to be. It's right next to the Latitudes and Attitudes tent, which is the number one cruising lifestyle magazine. And Lauren's right over there. <laughs> Just hanging out. They're doing a podcast over here. Got a free beer. Uh, they're doing meet and greets over here. Yeah. Popcorn. And we got free beer. <laughs> the keg ran out. <laughs> <laughs> so we just left the boat show and we're starving and we ended up at our favorite place when we used to live here, O'Brien's. Used to get brunch here all the time, but we just got penny olive vodka with crab and Brussels sprouts. We're trying to quickly eat because we have like zero time before we have to go to the award show. So we, we have to shove this down our throats, get ready, and then come back super soon. I don't know how we're going to do it. <laughs> <laughs> to create real world meaningful relationships, improve communication, and the full picture of your adventure. Lifelong sailor and Emmy winning cinematographer. <laughs> Laura Decker, youngest person to ever circumnavigate. Respected sailing content creators. Woo! One of the greatest boat builders of all time. Yeah! Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the second annual International Cruises Awards. It is an honor to be your host this year, and our sincere apologies for being much less attractive than your host last year. <laughs> Day two, the Annapolis Boat Show. Last night was awesome. And we got to meet so many people and make so many friends. And it was just surreal meeting people that we've been following for years. And it just felt really, really cool. Um, Re-inspired us a little bit. But yeah, day two, 
Uh, it is raining today, unfortunately, but such is boat life. And we are gonna make the most of it. I think we're gonna see some more catamarans today. Fontaine Peugeot has slowly become one of our favorite brands, not only because it's the background for all of my devices, but because they're designed for sailors, by sailors, specifically for luxury and leisure while cruising. These yachts are used by charter companies and cruisers all over the world, and they come at a pretty reasonable price tag when compared to other cruising catamarans. This is huge. Lagoon Catamarans definitely comes in at number two when it comes to our favorite cruising yachts. Lagoon is Beneteau's twin hull build and they are arguably the number one cruising catamaran in the world. Beneteau has produced more than 6,000 of these yachts since they started in 1984, and they aren't slowing down anytime soon. Charter companies absolutely love these cats. They have a bit wider beam than most cats, making for a much more spacious, comfortable experience. Yeah, I like this a lot. It's pretty narrow. The other side looks very wide. Oh, really? Yeah. All the the catamarans we've pretty much seen are pretty narrow on the other side of the... On the crew side. Yeah, the crew side. But there were a couple of Fontaine Peugeots where it felt a little wider. Super, yeah, super wide. Especially the 45 that we saw. Yeah. Okay, I love that. Two one-week trips, right? This is cool. Yeah, I like this. Look at the cameras. Yeah. That's wild, it's rear. I mean, I actually don't, I like the setup on the 42, was it? Better. Everything was like a lot easy, easier to access. This is pretty cool though, being up like here. very wide. And that would be Manage. But it's cool because you can sit your whole family up here and just yeah. cruise. I mean, that's awesome. This bathroom. This is huge. Listen to that rain on the boat. That's what I've been looking for. That's the dream. <laughs> just be chilling in on a cozy day. Rainy, stormy day on your boat, just listening to the rain. <laughs> yeah. After a long weekend of travel, exploring beautiful yachts, making lifelong friends, and gaining a new sense of inspiration, we are so ready to finally head home and start getting our boat ready for the new season. We have a lot of work to do to get her ready for our next adventure. But first, I think it's time for a bit of a vacation to the Rocky Mountains for some grounding. Chelsea and I are all about maintaining a balanced lifestyle, and we have been on the water for about a year now, and we finally feel that it's time to get away, reset, and explore a different terrain. So stay tuned for an epic land adventure. Thank you for watching. If you're enjoying these videos, hit the subscribe button and leave us a comment. If you want to support our journey further, we have Sailing Intuition merch for sale, and you can come join our intuitive family over on our Patreon page where we do ad-free and early access videos and so much more. Thank you for your support.